onesies. So I thought that was my vocal mic. That's the line. Yeah. <laughs> we got it. We got it now. us all, yeah. So slow down, watch it all turn brown, fall to the ground, and feel the sound, it's all around, and sleep like a hound, yeah. closes in the only way to win is to go slow and embrace the change yeah I know it's strange all this growing old You guys have been putting out pretty consistently at least a release a year, a full length release. Um, well, more endless. Quite a bit. Like we, we mostly just record. We don't really play out too much because mm -hmm. um, we're all hermits. But uh, yeah, we our our usual style of making music is just like getting together and jamming in this 
in Derek's basement and then like recording every session. And then when we have a good collection of songs, we just put it out as a release and it's super minimal effort. Just like, this sounds good, let's put it on an album and that's it. It's not a bad plan. Yeah, we don't really do like an official, let's record these songs and get them out. It's just if there were more venues, would, we, would you be playing out more? I mean, that's Derek. Yeah, I you look at me. Well, it's your fault. I mean, yeah, yeah, all right, I'm a little picky at this point in my life. Uh, you know, getting all this slowing down. And uh, so it has to be fun. Like, even if, even if, you know, there's the offer of money, it has to be fun or I'm not really interested. And so, yeah, I'm picky about the places and, and the events. Um, which is part of why we started putting on our own events um, for a while right there in Windsor. We were doing our own little with Life uh, mini festival type mm. things. Next and to the tracks, very cool. Yeah, those were a lot of fun. Um, and so, yeah, I'm not driven to like, uh, you know, drive long distances on ice to play really late in some mm. hole in the wall or every hole in the wall out there. Uh, I'm just kind of, kind of over that. Which was that dance in the background? <laughs> Who was that? It's just giving you silent agreement. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I appreciate the support. You know, because yeah, you gotta stay happy, you gotta stay balanced, you gotta have fun, and uh, I, uh, we, we don't do this for a living, so right, right. Um, we don't need the money. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but yeah, right. Our existence, we don't depend on this, you know, which is a solid plan. I, should say to everybody out there, like, <laughs> don't try to make a living in the arts. But, um, yeah, playing playing with these guys and everyone who's played with us in the past, you know, Brendan and um, Davis, um, it's been the most fun I've ever had musically. It's, it's the best band I've ever been a part of. I'm on the back. <laughs> Where's my back pattern? It's caught in my throat. All right, we got... No commitment. Mm -hmm. There's a woman I know, this place I go, she keeps me hypnotized, I can't help but the fantasize. Week after week, she said she's glad to see me with that twinkle in her eye and a soft, sweet smile. In her life, everything feels right, and her voice is such an angelic sound. I give her my heart for a penny a pound. Mercy.
So it's really not the performing that's the fulfilling part of it for you guys as a unit, it's the creation. Yeah, I mean, playing shows, a lot of times you go and you play to like other bands that are playing the show with you, like it's hard to find an audience, so it's really like, you gotta really like the music that you're playing to get anything out of it, because you know, getting up on stage and trying to be a rock star is not gonna happen. <laughs> People aren't, people aren't that excited anymore, it seems, about local music, unfortunately. Yeah, what's the deal? I don't know. I blame you. <laughs> <laughs> you, Mark. Hey, we've got, we do tend to get a great response, though. When we, we do, do. yeah. It's but a we scarce, also don't play out too much. Right, as I say, it's a scarcity model. Yeah. You see, it's so special when we finally play out, people aren't sick of it, you know, because we only play out rarely. If you had a recording that really blew up and there was a lot of demand, would you tour? Um, or would you be the Beatles post app? Yeah. Man, I kind of like the Beatles post the touring years. It's, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, I mean, if we could make a living off it, sure, that'd be great. But uh, that's just not how the world works anymore with music. Yeah. <laughs> like, I would love to just play music all the time and get paid for it. And I would totally tour if that's what that meant. But, you know, it's, it's almost better this way because then you can like really focus on the, I don't know, I sound super pretentious, but like the art, like you're in it for the music, you're not in it to make money or you're not in it to like go show off in front of an audience, you're in it just to satisfy your own creative urge. But then there's also the urge to share. Sure, yeah, well the internet helps with that. It's easy enough to do these days, you know, uh, and that, but that is cool that, that you, it's easy, easy to share, it doesn't cost anything to put anything on something online, you know. And, uh, that's cool, but the way we record, yeah, there is a, 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 a purity or an authenticity there where, for the most part, we record live and occasionally, sometimes we'll add uh, overdub. Well, not overdub, but additional like backup vocals. Hopefully, we're hoping to have some uh, backup vocals from our friends here on our uh, new, we have a new album, actually, it's, it's getting ready to, it's like in post production, I guess you'd call it, and hoping to get uh, some, some. Some of the folk kids. So in love to sing some backups on it. And that's probably all we'll add, really. But, but yeah, we, you know, we get really comfortable in the basement and just play. And uh, sooner or later, you know, something comes together. And, yeah, you know, you, you get a good one and, and we set it aside. And uh, it's just there's no time pressure that way, which is really nice. And you can let stuff happen when it, when it happens. So as a band that prefers to be in the basement, your comfort zone, and now you're in this world-class studio to knock out, you know, four songs, five songs. How does that fit in to the ethos? Well, we're going to find that, I guess. Yeah, I mean, this place is just awesome. I love being here, and if I could just, like, live here and record all the time, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say that this is, like, outside our comfort zone, because it's still, you know, making music in a studio, and it's or with all our friends. It feels pretty comfortable right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this sun is real comfortable and I fall asleep during the interview. I'm not, I'm not feeling uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about Tim Oregon. Can you hear me? Yeah, man. Can you hear me now? Hey, guys. There he is. Hey, man. Are we good to roll? We are rolling. All right. Everything okay out there? Yeah, everything's great. All right, roll away. We're going to take another stab at this uh, Cosmic Egg. Cosmic Egg song. All right. Should we try to start it all together? Did that work? No, I think we're probably doing it. Alright, alright.
understand what happened that day. But one thing changes everything. What's the deal? Well, we're invited, so that was pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> you know, when you show up and you're not invited, you don't turn it out. It's not an opportunity. So. Uh, here to make music. Yeah. Well, this is this is an unusual 
event that's happening with the, with the four bands from what dot play. And typically, the studio is you know it's booking uh, some high class clients. Yeah. And here you guys are. I know. Exactly. <laughs> right. Like I was still trying to figure out. How to, how to yeah. This is like one of those opportunities you can't say no to. Yeah. Can play another song we haven't played for quite a while. <laughs> I'm